Hi, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we will learn Spray Particle in 3ds Max. Let's get started. What is Spray Particle? In simple words, it's an emitter which emits particles in the direction of the arrow. We will see how it actually works. It is not affiliated with gravity. It particles emits from the whole of the emitter's eye. The emitter's size matters here. Let's see how it works. Emitter just like we do with our tax. Click on Standard Primitives. Then, click on the Particle System. Now select Spray. Click Hold and drag it on the grid to create spray. Click on Play, you will see particles are already there in your animation. To work with particles we will be using timeline a lot as you have seen they appear on the timeline. We can select, move, rotate or scale the emitter just like As you can see particles are going only in the direction of the arrow of the emitter. Space warps are the set of forces which we will be using in dynamics. To affect particles with gravity go to space warp then gravity. Click hold and drag it on the grid to create gravity. See no effect of gravity on the particles because we will have to connect it with our emitter but we will do that later. First, see some parameters of the spray emitter. So drops. Select Spray then Modify. Viewport Count. The maximum number of particles displayed in viewports at Render Count. The maximum number of particles displayed at the time of render. Drop Size is the size of the particle. Speed is the speed of the particle. Variation is the variation in the speed of the particle. Drops, ticks, and dots are particle shape only for viewport it doesn't affect to actual render. Facing are the particles playing which will always face the direction the camera. Life defines till how many frames particles will live. You can set width and height of the emitter. You can also hide the emitter. Effect. Wind also comes unbind to space warp the click on the emitter. We can see the difference before gravity and after. To add some more realistic effects let's add wind to our project. Go to Space Warps then select wind and set it from where you want the wind effect. Wind also comes from the arrow just like an emitter. Wind with emitter just like we connected gravity with the emitter. Now
face warps then click on the drop the difference. Playing off with some of the wind parameters according to the need. Whenever you change any parameter then go to timeline and see how it made a change. Check render the turbulence and frequency more. You can change as per your need. As you can see the particles are falling off the grid. To make them fall on the plane, grid we attach a deflector. Go to space warps then click on the drop down menu select deflector. Now select deflector and make it on the grid just like gravity. To make the scene more understanding I am going to enlarge the deflector and scale down the emitter. Increasing the render count now. Check render the particles somehow look 